you guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for X. And we're told that this red square and this blue triangle have the same area. What value of X would make this true? This looks awesome. Ultimately, the square could be in any one of these spots, but only one of them has the areas that are the same. Spoiler alert, we're gonna end up with a positive value or a negative value, and we usually dismiss the negative value. But for this video, I also wanna explore what the negative value would mean. I bet it's gonna be pretty cool. If you guys wanna solve this on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. So let's use this red area equals blue area. Well, the red area is a square, so the area is gonna be x squared. And this blue area is a triangle, so it's gonna be one half base times height. And let's see if we can pull out this blue triangle. So the base of this triangle is 10, but we still gotta find the height. And this height would correspond to right here. Oh, well, I see how we can get the height. The whole base of this rectangle is equal to 20. This piece is x, so this piece would be 20 minus x. And that's gonna be the same thing as this height right here. So now we can fill in for the base and the height. The base is equal to 10 and the height is equal to 20 minus x. Next, we can do one half times 10, which is equal to five. And this five will distribute to the 20 and the negative x. Five times 20 is 100 and five times negative x is negative five x. Now we have an x squared term and an x term. That means we wanna set this whole thing equal to zero. We can subtract x squared from both sides. This x squared and this negative x squared will cancel each other out. And that leaves us zero on this side. And on the right-hand side, we end up with negative x squared plus 100 minus 5x. Next, let's rewrite this in descending order. We can switch the negative 5x and the 100. And then I don't really like the negative leading coefficient, so let's divide both sides by negative 1. That makes this positive, this positive, and this negative. So we end up with 0 equals x squared plus 5x minus 100. Well, this is a quadratic set equal to zero. I don't see an easy way to factor it, so let's use the quadratic formula. The leading coefficient is a one, so in the place of this a, we can plug in one, and in the place of this a, we can plug in one. And then b is equal to five, so we can plug in five for this b and five for this b. And last, the c is equal to negative 100, so we can plug in negative 100 for c. Let's start by simplifying under the radical. 5 squared is equal to 25, and negative 4 times 1 times negative 100 is equal to positive 400. And then 25 plus 400 is equal to 425. Now we're still not done. We can simplify this radical further. 425 is equal to 25 times 17. And that means we can rewrite this 425 as 25 times 17. And then we can split this up into square root of 25 times square root of 17 and the square root of 25 is equal to five. And now we have our answers for x. Since we have this plus minus, that means we have two possible values for x. We have the positive version and the negative version. The only difference is the plus or the minus. This first one is equal to approximately 7.8076, and the second one is equal to approximately negative 12.8076. At this point, we typically look at the problem and say, oh, we can't have a negative value of x, so we cross this out. And then we would also change this plus minus into a plus. We'd say this is the answer to our question, let's put a box around it, and then we would be done. But I wanna explore the negative answer. All of these are positive values of x, but if we leave the rectangle, all of these would be negative values of x. And if we keep going until we hit negative 12.80766, that gives us this right here. And now let's check out this answer. This red area would be equal to that 12.8 number squared. And the blue area would be equal to one half this base of 10 times this height of 32.8. And this 12.8 number squared is equal to approximately 164.04 dot dot dot. And this one half times 10 times this 32.8 number is equal to approximately 164.04 dot dot dot. This negative solution gives us the location where this red area would be equal to this blue area outside of the rectangle. And we're gonna end up discarding this solution because the original diagram had the red square inside of the rectangle. So this is the answer to our question. How exciting.